Hey everyone, it is me, Teen Tien, and I'm back with another fun video. I haven't really done many fun videos, but basically what happened is um, 1.15 pre pre-release came out today, and 1.15 is going to be coming out in on December 4th, I believe, which is awesome. I'm super excited for it, but today, when the pre-release was released... <laughs> That sounds funny. Anyways, uh, when it was released, they announced that TNT is much, sm like, like, a t like so much smoother. Like, it's crazy. So if we just take a look, you know, just, this is like a 5x5x5 five by five by five area. If we just like one piece, you know, typically this would not be great in 1.14. Not bad, if you ask me. But here's the thing. Let's go, let's go back to 1.14 really fast. <laughs> So here we are in 1.14 uh, with the new world, and if we just like this, it goes a lot, lot slower. Yeah, see, uh, not not great. Nope, not at all. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's 1.15, absolutely incredible. It does look like there's, a, there's some more damage. To, I, I, let's go back to 1.15. So this is good. I mean, like, you know, 125 blocks, but we, we can do better for sure. We can do way, way, way better. So how about we set off uh, 9,261 things of TNT? Why not? So let's just, eh, and sit back and watch. Computer might get a bit slow because, I mean, like, it's still a bunch of TNT. <laughs> Uh, but it should clear up in just a second. Oh, ooh, ooh, frames are dropping for sure. Yep, well, it's, it's still way better than before. I My computer would definitely be dead by now. And then this continues on for a while, where it just, like, has these particles coming out, even though you don't really see any TNT anymore. But, like, it's still really, really cool, and I love it. I love it a lot. Uh, so I think that th this was, like, about 20 by 20 by 20 but not exactly because obviously there was a one in there and that wouldn't make sense so i messed up somewhere but still i love this i love tnt i love minecraft <sighs> good times well it took it about 32 seconds until it stopped <laughs> after i like stopped recording uh this is the damage yeah yeah, not bad. Not bad if I say so myself. Uh, there are a few rendering issues. Remember, this is pre-release. It's not It's not all settled down yet. And yeah, of course, we just blew up a bunch of TNT. Ah, uh, I love it. I love it a lot. So that was our first explosion. That was our second explosion. But there's, there's this little temple here. And, you know, it's like filled with TNT everywhere, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, like, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, so let's just like that, and uh, I'm excited. Yep, there it goes. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow, frames are actually not dropping, like, at all. Oh, wow. That was good. That was fun. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't actually as good as I thought it was going to be, but still, look at that. Look at that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I couldn't help myself. You see this? You see this little mound of sand? I replaced all the sandstone inside of it with TNT. So, if we just go right here and summon uh, TNT at my location, and then we'll do my location, but uh, minus 20-ish, and then my location again, and just hit enter. Oh, yep, there it goes. Yep, yep, frames are dropping. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love this too much. I love this way, way, way too much. Okay, I don't know how long this explosion is going to go on for, so I'm just going to time lapse the rest. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop Time lapse music. A doop a doop. Look at all just the sand, like, flying everywhere. It's so cool, because those are gravity blocks. So sometimes they'll just be blown up. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> it's snowing sand, guys. <laughs> it's snowing sand. Oh, that is so, so good. I love that so much. 
and that that's what is left. Yeah, I like that one better than that one personally, uh, but that's just me. You guys can have your own opinion. Uh, what's some other things we can blow up? Well, there's this nice little ravine here. Give me a minute. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. Oh. Well, that was boring. Well, I was trying to fill in this whole ravine with um, TNT, but commands are not working for some reason, so if I run this and, like, it replaces the air, it replaced all these blocks instead. And, I mean, like, as long as we have TNT, might as well just, you know, blow it up. Oh, <laughs> my computer is starting to be like, uh. Yep, there we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. Huh. <sighs> Well, this world's basically destroyed. <laughs> At least this desert is. <laughs> Let's go to that desert. Is that connected? It's technically not the same desert because it has a stream going through it. So let's go destroy that one. I don't think this one's going to be as interesting, but this goes from sky limit all the way down to, um, I believe, level 2. It didn't do level 1 because I don't know if that'll go like through the ground. We don't want all this just like falling. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure about that, but we're, we're just gonna light this and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Yep. And just a chain reaction going all the way down. <laughs> I honestly don't really know what to say. This is just, like, amusing to watch. Where's all this TNT? Okay, so the TNT is just, yeah, okay. Oh. Well, how did that happen? Oh, 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 never mind. Okay, yep, still going, still going. <laughs> This is going to go all the way down to bedrock. Hmm. I'm excited to see Grin messing with TNT. And, oh. Oh, well, that's sad. I'm excited to see Grin messing with TNT in 1.15. Alright, the water's clearing, and that was kind of sad and failed a little bit. But we don't talk about it. You know? Yeah. Honestly, I'm just going to pass a little bit of time. Because there's one TNT... Explosion that I already done already done and I Say let's just roll the clip <laughs> Now I have no idea how much TNT this is um, Let's just say it's a lot <laughs> uh, But yeah, so this one took forever to fully explode uh, So that's why I'm gonna do the, like this little quick time-lapse thing um, so yeah, let's roll the clip starting now. Uh, so you'll see that this starts as a slideshow, so I'm just gonna keep on playing like the clips here and there, you know, it might be over now or not, I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's basically how it started. And then it started going by layer and layer and layer at a time. So basically, one layer would explode, and like, it'll register the TNT and whatnot, and then the other layer would be solid blocks, and then once the fir once the layer is done, that layer would start. Uh, so it was really weird, and I didn't realize that that was, like, the thing. So then I decided, why not just, like, exit out of Minecraft, like, the world, um, have it save and whatnot, because at this point it should have been able to just, you know, cleanly do the rest of the TNT. So I was like, great, yep, let's do that, and I go back into the world, <laughs> and things got a little bit weird with chunk loading. <laughs> and... That is because I didn't realize how many TNT entities were still there, just not rendering in. Um, so yeah, you can see in this part right now, probably. Yeah, there's just TNT everywhere. Um, and I didn't really know what to do at this part. My frames were at zero. I couldn't move or anything. I thought my computer finally crashed, and I was getting a little bit nervous. <laughs> but all of a sudden, the frame changed, and I was like, oh my gosh, it hasn't crashed yet. Um, and then after waiting like a good amount of time, I don't really know exactly how much, it finally, finally was like good and I was able to move around. Um, so yeah, basically the TNT was like creating this border of just flashing and going absolutely crazy. So it was just kind of frozen though and nothing much was happening. So I decided to leave the world again and come back in just to see because you know what? It made stuff weird one time, maybe it'll make stuff weird again. Basically, just cleared up one side of the TNT wall that I'm calling it with the flashing TNT, but the other side was still going nuts. And that's the point where I just kind of let, I left the room with the camera on it, 
and I come back to see um, that ha the world part that I was standing in had cleared up with TNT and it was starting to load back again. Uh, but the other side, um, yeah, it wasn't doing great either. So I started flying around a little bit um, and eventually there was still like these particles going everywhere and whatnot, but the TNT was still there. Eventually, the world started to load in, and yeah, it it exploded, uh, and the wall was taken down, as you can say, I guess. Um, but yeah, it it was so crazy to watch. I'm so impressed with uh, the Minecraft community with this. Um, they did a phenomenal job, you know, fixing TNT, not fixing TNT, but making it so much better and so much more fun, because, gosh, it was, it's so much fun doing it, uh, but yeah, let's go look at the world, like, right now, <laughs> and here it is, I just loaded up the world, so it's a little bit slow, because there's so, so much that happened here, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it did really well, uh, so apparently this is a slime chunk, uh, but basically, the TNT, oh, diamonds, lucky. Anyways, the TNT was actually only placed down to level 30, so where I'm standing right now, it destroyed all the way down to bedrock, which is, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so that just goes to show how much TNT it was. Um, but yeah, yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's really, really awesome to have this river passing through it, uh, because obviously water is not affected by TNT, so it just... <laughs> Yeah, it's just a floating river, basically. And there's still blocks in here that didn't get destroyed, and there's squid, fish, whatnot. So yeah, that worked really, really well. It was, I, it wasn't even planned. Oh, oh no, squiddy! Uh, it wasn't even planned to make it like by a river. It just so happens to be by one, and I, it, the blast was so large, so so large. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that took like about 15, 30 minutes to like finish exploding. <laughs> which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Uh, it was heavily edited and whatnot. I'll try to leave a world download in the, in the description, um, but I, I don't know, you guys probably don't want to go through the effort of getting the world download because, I mean, like, you know, you can see it basically all right here, but I'll do it just for fun if, if my brother helps me out with doing a world download. I don't know exactly the steps to do it. Uh, but yeah, so I, I just thought that I'd do this video because it came out yesterday, I believe. Uh, it's actually today while I'm recording this, but still. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to do it, and my name's my name is TNTN. I mean, if we go to tab, it's TNTEON. TNTN. Uh, so, I mean, like, I had to do one video of TNT at some point, and this just seemed like the perfect time to do it. Uh, but anyways, it's been a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I hope you guys had just as much fun watching it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video because, yeah, that's cool. Um, I do typically Let's Plays, so if you want to do watch Let's Plays, then hit that subscribe button and go catch up on the TaskCraft series, I guess. And you can actually join TaskCraft now if you want to, so send in an application whatnot. Link in the description to the Discord to do that. Also, before I forget, sponsor time. I just got, I just got put, and put that out there. Just, just yeah. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. Anyways, um, yeah. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.